Mheshimiwa Etale wewe utajua vile hawa watu unajua sasa hivi kuna corona. Mm. Eh, ya kunanga wale wa, wanasema turudie statement kwa Kiswahili. <laughs> Hawako? Turudie kwa Kiswahili. Oh. Mm. Kwanza kabisa <laughs> eh, tulikuwa tunataka tuzungumzie hili swala la ugonjwa huu wa corona ni kweli kwamba sasa ugonjwa huo umefika katika makao makuu yetu ya chama uh, kuna mmoja wetu ambaye eh, ni kiongozi wa vijana uh, mheshimiwa Benson Musungu ambaye alipatikana kuwa na virusi hivyo uh, kwa sasa anazidi kupokea ma, matibabu na tunaohakika kwamba atapata nafuu kwa mapema uh, hakuna haja ya kuingiza wasiwasi wowote kwa sababu hamna uh, mfanyikazi mwingine wowote wa hapa Uh, makao makuu ambaye amepata ugonjwa huo tunazidi kuomba kwamba apate nafuu hiyo tumefahamishwa kwamba familia yake iko sawa kwani mke wake na mtoto wake hawajapata virusi hivyo jambo la pili ilikuwa ni kutoa wito kwa rais kwamba vita hivi ambavyo tunaviona kati ya uh, yule jaji mkuu na ikulu na executive nzima si jambo nzuri kwa wakenya kwa sababu wale wa Kenya ambao wanatafuta haki ndio wanazidi kuathirika kutokana na vita hivi. Wanasema fahali wawili wanapopigana nyasi ndizo zinaumia. Kwa hivyo letu ni kutoa wito kwa Mheshimiwa Rais achukue nafasi kama kiongozi wa taifa hili. Jinsi ambavyo aliweza kupatana na Mheshimiwa Raila Odinga ambaye tunajua sisi sote kwamba wakati huo hawakuwa wanaona uh, wanaonana uh, ama kuona mambo kwa kisawa lakini wakapata uh, huo ujasiri wa kujitokeza na kuja pamoja ili kuweka masuala ya Kenya mbele. Amtafute jaji mkuu. Tunaamini kwamba mambo haya yanaweza kusuluhishwa iwapo kutapuweko na uh, mikutano uh, kati ya Mheshimiwa Rais na yule jaji mkuu. Jambo la mwisho uh, kuhusiana na mambo ya, ya mahakama tungependa juhudi ambazo tuliona uh, kutoka kule kwenye Wizara ya Fedha na kutoka kwa bunge kuhakikisha kwamba yale madeni ambayo kaunti zetu zilikuwa nazo kwa wahandisi wa, wa pale katika kaunti zimelipwa tungependa na sisi tuone eh, zile 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 efforts ziwekwe katika uh, kuhakikisha kwamba yale madeni ambayo serikali iko nayo kutokana na uh, maagizo ya mahakama ambao watu wanashikilia judgment zao nazo pia ziweze kulipwa vile vile uh, mwisho kabisa tumezungumzia matamshi ya mheshimiwa Ayub Savula ambaye ni mbunge wa Lugari Aa, kumuonya kwamba kwanza sisi kama chama cha UDM hatuingilii masuala ya ndani ya vama vingine na tumechoka kila wakati kuhusishwa na shida za wanaume wengine tumesema wewe kama ni mwanaume na unaendesha nyumba yako ni lazima uwe in charge ya mambo yako sio kila wakati kulia eti mwanaume mwingine anakuharibia nyumba yako inamaanisha wewe utoshi kuwa kiongozi katika nyumba hiyo iwapo wanachama wa chama chochote hata hiki cha ODM wataamua kwamba wanataka kufanya uh, mabadiliko ya uongozi wa muondoe sifuna sio mbaya kwa sababu hiyo ni haki ya wanachama wa, wa, wa ODM kwa hivyo si watu wengine wa nje watakuja kutueleza uh, kwamba tufanye hayo uh, watu wabebe mizigo yao wenyewe kwa sababu tunajua zile shida ambazo uh, na upungufu ambao wako nayo kama viongozi ndio inapelekea mambo hayo kufanyika uh, katika vyama vyao tunataka kumuuliza mheshimiwa Savula aeleze taifa ni kiongozi yupi huyo wa ODM ambaye anadai alimpelekea njama hii ya kupindua uh, Mheshimiwa Msalia Mudavadi kutoka chama chake sisi tunaamini kwamba Mheshimiwa Msalia Mudavadi akiwaachwa tu peke yake kwa uwezo wake mwenyewe atajimaliza kwa sababu tunamfahamu kwamba mtu ambaye sio mwenye msimamo mtu ambaye ana, anatoa uh, ana, anatoa uamuzi ambao haufai amefanya makosa mengi mwaka wa na mbili akaenda njia yake akazama mwaka wa tatu akazama hata hivi sasa sisi kama vijana haswa wa mkoa wa magharibi tunafurahi sana kwamba ule wito ambao tulikuwa tunatoa hapo mbeleni kwamba ni wakati sasa wa jamii itafute viongozi wengine wa jamii ya mulembe sasa wito huo umekuwa ni wito wa jamii nzima wakati ule tulikuwa tunazungumzia haya maswala mimi na mheshimiwa Clofas Malala na mheshimiwa Godfrey Osoti na mbunge wa Saboti Kale Bamisi walikuwa wanasema hawa ni vijana ambao hawa, hawana uzoefu wa siasa na kwamba tumekosea wazee heshima. Leo hii wazee wa jamii ya Mulembe wakiongozwa na wale viongozi wa Council of Elders, mzee wa Lukano kule Bungoma 
wote wamekubaliana kwamba sasa ni lazima tugeuze yule ambaye ni msemaji wa jamii. Kwa hivyo eh, ODM ni chama ambacho kinahusika na masuala mazito sana haswa ya kitaifa. Hatuna wakati wowote kuingilia vyama ambavyo wanaita kwa kizungu briefcase parties. Hatuna huo wasaa wa, wa kuingilia masuala kama hayo. Kwa hivyo tunataka kumuonya Savula ya kwamba tena ODM haijakosa watu ambao inaweza kuwaweka kama gavana wa Kakamega. Utajua vizuri kwamba eh kaunti ya Kakamega inaongozwa na yule ambaye ni naibu wa kinara wa chama uh, Mheshimiwa Wickly for Paranya na kwa vigezo vingi eh, watu wanakuja kukubali kwamba kazi ambayo ameifanya kule Kakamega uh, imekuwa ni kazi nzuri itakuwaje chama cha ODM kitoke katika level ya mtu kama Oparanya alafu ituingize katika mtu ambaye hata hatujui eh, mbele wala nyuma kama ako naye uh, haitawezekana uh, kwa hivyo chama cha ODM kina wagombezi wa kutosha wa kuchukua nafasi ya Mheshimiwa Paranya wakati atamaliza uh, tamu yake lakini Savula si mmoja wa wale ambao chama cha ODM inaangalia uh, kwa hivyo hiyo ni ndoto yake yeye mwenyewe angependa sana na nataka kumwambia kama anataka kiti cha ODM cha gavana Kakamega aingie ndani ya chama cha ODM atakutana na wanaume na wanawake ambao wamekolea katika chama hiki sisi kama secretariat tutamuingiza katika mchujo basi yule ambaye ataibuka na tikiti ndiye atakuwa mgombezi wa wakakamega wa, wa chama asanteni sana na Mungu awabariki yes sasa swali imetoka wapi na iku ama imekuja kwa hiki swali okay Naam. Yes. Yes. I personally I have not seen uh, uh, what uh, those members of the PPLC could have been alluding to uh, because as you can see from our end uh, we continue to support the strengthening of political parties we continue to strengthen ourselves and our internal organs for them to be fully democratic you have seen in the past when challenges have been put to ODM uh, including in the last uh, by election in Kibra uh, that our national elections board was up to task we were able to conduct free and fair and peaceful nominations for the first time in a long time so we continue to encourage the growth of political parties through strengthening of their internal mechanisms and organs uh, what people are complaining about really is, is, is neither here nor there because I have not seen anyone proposing a law uh, to say that uh, we should only have one or two political parties. In fact, uh, in 2017, when our brothers who came together to form the Jubilee Coalition were advocating for that, we reminded them that under our constitution, we will remain a multi-party uh, republic, not a country of two or three political parties. Uh, people are still registering political parties as we speak. Even some who have been uh, chased from their own political parties, we know they are holding certificates of other political parties. So let them not cry that uh, there's no multi-party democracy. The registrar is still registering political parties. And uh, from where I sit as the vice chair of the CMD, I know now that we almost have 60 registered political parties. So that claim does not uh, hold water in my view. I think uh, what you call coups, uh, all political parties uh, and their members have their own rules and constitutions and they are free uh, to change the leadership of a party in accordance with those rules and, uh, and, and, and their constitutions. So what essentially the, the Office of the Registrar of Political Parties does uh, when you bring those uh, documents of changes in leadership, her work is just to ascertain that the rules and your own constitution were complied with before effecting them. So what people are calling coups really, it is only the registrar of political parties who can tell us whether a, a change in a political party leadership or anything else has been done in accordance with the rules and regulations of that political party. I am not an expert on the rules and regulations of all political parties. I know the ODM constitution by heart, which is what we were doing here. One of the roles of uh, a member of ODM is to combat propaganda that is detrimental to the interest of the party such as the ones that Savula was spewing. Correct? Ah, yeah. Thank you very much. Wale wamekuja late poleni bwana. Tulisema tukianza 12:30
kwa sababu tunawaheshimu na tunajua mna kazi nyingine tuanze 12:30 si ndivyo thank you very much mheshimiwa tale utazungumza na watu wako hapa